cacao. So this right here, the little cacao beans. Uh, and these, <clears throat> and it kind of looks, so it comes like this, it's a little bean and you will peel it and here's the actual, oh, here's the actual edible cacao that you pop in your mouth. You can eat it as a snack. You can put it in your cereals. That's something that I do also. Put in your smoothies. Now, here's the thing that is kind of tricky, and I'm so sorry for kind of, you know, like telling you this, but these right here, these cacao beans, uh, you might not find it here in the States <laughs> because these I got from Peru when I went there last year. And um, I was so lucky to be able to do that to go to Peru, to go to the jungle, to go to the uh, uh, cacao plantation and help one of my friends who grows cacao in their harvesting process. And it was a very, um, it just reminds, rem thinking about it brings me back to that time. And it was a very amazing experience to be out in the jungle, to waking up at four in the morning before the sun came out, being right above the clouds and the rainforest, and then going from you know 6 7 a.m. until like 4 5 p.m. and harvesting cacao and you know all these different things and I blog about it too so you can go back to my blog and, and go and look it up and, and see my journey when I was there but cacao this is like my most favorite superfood and it is because it's one of the few if not the only in the world who has the highest content of antioxidants all of these have a lot of antioxidants but they, this one has the highest um, for its size and its weight and also because it's the only seed you can call it the bean you can call it a seed but it's the only one that has so much going on in here in this tiny little uh, seed and the beautiful thing is that cacao is really the main the raw ingredient of chocolate so if you think about you know when you're sad or depressed and how to lift your mood up and you what do you do most people eat chocolate and it's such a wonderful feeling for us to kind of calm down and, you know, like kind of have that, that satisfaction of having something sweet. But here's the thing, beware, sorry for that, those geese, <laughs> um, beware that a lot of the chocolate out there also has sugar. So make sure that it doesn't have sugar. It's only, uh, it's mostly dark cacao or like raw cacao. And it has more than 70% cacao. And here in the States, they sell it as cacao nibs. So they get it like this. And then they break it up into pieces. And so it just kind of, you can just kind of pull it apart and it starts breaking. And this is how you will find it at the health food stores. You will also find it as a powder form. Again, it's cacao, it's not cocoa, which why you will most likely think about when you think of chocolate or making hot chocolate. What is going on? Must be a female teasing them. Anyway, so the thing is that we need to remember that these things are available and most times we don't think so much about them. And especially with cacao, um, it's so easy to, you know, like get used to the flavor and, and start eating these instead of chocolate. Again, if you're such a, if you're the kind of person that has a, a high, you know, like a, Oh my God, okay, I'm so sorry, I'm almost done. Um, if you like so much sweet, you have such a sweet uh, tooth, uh, and you can't win off of chocolate, start going, you know, like uh, back to dark cacao or dark chocolate. And then eventually, you know, because if you think about it, the chocolate that they sell at the store, it has so much sugar, it has so many other things that is added to them. And most of the time, you're not getting a lot of the nutrients from the cacao or the, you know, the, the, basically the cacao they put in them. So you're getting other stuff. So maybe it's the satisfaction of eating it, but really you're not getting a lot of value for what you pay for. Um, so always try to go for dark chocolate. And if you can, you can find, like I said, these are the stores that they usually come in the form of powder, cacao powder or cacao nibs. And then you can put them into your smoothies. You can put them into your drinks. You can even make hot chocolate with it. And I usually add honey at the end. And pretty much that's it. And um, one of the things about cacao that is really good, besides having hot chocolate, I mean hot chocolate, <laughs> besides having a lot of antioxidants, is that 
Um, it also it helps you he with healing. It has a lot of properties that helps you heal the cells, the body. Um, it has a lot of vitamin C, which is also very important for your cells. Um, it has a lot of iron, and I, I forgot to mention this, but you'll find it in my blog. Spirulina and chlorella also have a lot of iron. It has tons and tons of iron that is very good, very important for the cells. It has uh, magnesium, which is, the, magnesium is one of the minerals that is like one of the best to, to start like learning about and implementing into our diet because it's one of the minerals that our cells, needs, our cells need to heal. 